Hi. Summertime is in full swing here in North Florida with long, hot, sunny days, cicadas singing constantly, and then high humidity with thunderstorms rolling in and out, and of course, watermelon. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Gareth. I'm a physical therapist assistant who works at Request Physical Therapy as a health coach. I develop recipes for their healthy lifestyle program, Physician's Choice for Weight Loss. So today, I wanna to teach you a fun and simple way to cut and serve watermelon. Now, one little kitchen tip is every kitchen should have a large, sharp knife for cutting things like watermelon and butternut squash. A dull knife could easily just slip and injure yourself. So what I'm gonna have you do is start by cutting the watermelon perpendicularly. And then you're gonna place one half away and then set the other one flesh down on your cutting board. Now what you will do is cut slices downward and make them about an inch apart, depending on how big you want to make these little watermelon sticks. And then after you finish making the slices, turn your cutting board and then cut perpendicularly. Now what's really cool about watermelon is just as its name, it's loaded with water. Not only is it sweet to the taste, but it's full of water and fiber, which is super hydrating for this time of year, for sure. And as we all know, watermelon is this beautiful, bright red. The red is the lycopene, and you'll see this in tomatoes, guava, and in dark grapefruit. Lycopene has been shown to help improve our heart health. It helps reduce the risk of some cancers, like prostate cancer, and even provides some sun protection, which is really cool. Now, once you get this cut, you can just end up serving the watermelon as is on your cutting board. It's very easy. You can put it on a fancy platter or uh, put it in a fancy jar. I just leave it on here and love how easy it is to grab these. It's great for kids to hold on to. A lot less hands in the pot, a lot less messy, um, and just fun.